Morning. Um, just thought I'd do a bit of a video about how we actually make up our worm food. Um, just got some pretty manky veggies. This is a eggplant we got from the backyard the other day. This is a zucchini that without us knowing got totally eaten out by grubs. Don't know if you can see them in there. Some sort of fruit fly. Um, try and bring that up close. Might be able to see some wiggle around. So they're all going in to become worm food. A bit sad when you open up and you pick your food that you've grown and it's pretty much all unusable. There we go, there's some action for you. Oh, by the way, don't watch this video if you're eating breakfast. Um, <laughs> what are you laughing at, Spawn? Um, yeah, so this is just pretty much all how we process all our veggie scraps, just to make it uh, smaller for the mouths of our little willing workers downstairs. Hope that chopping's not too loud. So all the scraps are in, so now I'm just going to whiz it around. I don't put water in anymore, I just like to put it through dry, see how it goes. Um, the farm doesn't end up as stinky and we don't end up with as many soldier flies, black soldier fly larvae, even though their chooks love eating them. But, yep, this is all we do. After we turn it on. So funny. Would you like me to turn the soft no? lights? That's the glue. So I'll just take the blade out. As you can see, it's actually fairly liquid, as most vegetables are. Do contain a lot of liquid, so we can go off down now and feed up the babies. This farm here, pretty well not touching with food scraps. Just leaving um, the paper. Let the wormies do their own thing. There's a few in there munching on the paper. So, this one I tend not to put food scraps in, also because there's a few gaps here and there on it. Um, yeah, so not too good if you don't want to keep uh, if you want to keep flies and things like that out. So we just leave it with the manure. And this one here, whee, which has an escape. Get him a little while. Nice big fat mama. Or data, or both. Um, this is just a straight horse manure one, the horse manure compost one. Um, yeah, I'm not putting any food in this one either. Same reason. Whenever we used uh, had food in here, it pretty much all ended up rank, stinking. Um, this one, the overkill barrel. Yesterday when we came down, there was a mass, mass of worms on top. Oh, there still is. This is the feeding area. So, heaps of squigglies in there. So, I just dumped the food we've got. Oh, look, even more. Yeah, so this whole area was um, covered in um, a mix last week, mid last week. So, I'll just dump this one in. And all I do is basically spread it around in a nice thin layer and I'll come back tomorrow in the morning and I'll do another clip just to show you how fast these fellas go through this stuff. That's pretty much all it. Um, this, this tank, if it ever does smell, it's probably for the first day when um, the food scraps go in and then after that um, the smell is pretty much all non-existent. Um, yeah, so just to give you a comparison, that was the feeding end. This is the old feeding end. This has got the original um, cocoa fibre in it. So we're just letting them ink that down. When we harvested, we harvested to about here in the whole barrel, if you can make that out. And I just pushed the remaining castings that had the worms up here um, and then added. Um, 
the horse manure compost to the rest of the barrel so not only works as uh, serves as bedding but food as well getting heaps of little seeds germinating which is good because if they germinate in here they won't germinate in the garden so grow your own food for the worms anyway that's about oh, I haven't done my hair that's about it um, just thought I'd do that a uh, little worm video because I haven't really done one to explain what I've done before I've only done pictures and pictures are boring I like flashy movie things thought you might too so I'll do an update later on today um, just got a few other things to work out first like schoolwork and that for the girls start of a new term so I'll catch you later have a good one